before we added the base, we were at 4.74. Let's see what's happened now. So let's hit negative log 1.8 E5. So on negative log of 1.8 E negative 5 plus the log of the ratio of 0.32 divided by 0.28. And that's not right. Oh, I forgot to close my parentheses. All right, let's try it again. Negative log 1.8 e negative 5, close my parentheses, plus the log of the ratio of 0.32 divided by 0.28, close my parentheses, and that makes better sense. The pH came out to be 4.80. So what have we concluded? We started with a pH of 4.74 and added a very strong base. We should expect the pH to shoot straight up, but because of the buffering capacity, it went up a little from 4.74 to 4.80. We are well within the buffering capacity of this particular solution. Let's do for a comparison to calculate the pH that would result if 0 0.02 molar of sodium hydroxide was added to pure water. So not to the buffered solution, but add it to pure water. We know that pOH is found by hitting negative log of the concentration of the hydroxide ion, 0 0.02, and we could flip that to find the pH of our solution by taking 14 minus. So additional amounts here would show 12.30, the pH of the solution. Had sodium hydroxide been added to pure water, we'd expect a solution of 12.3 pH. When sodium hydroxide, hydroxide was added to a buffered solution, the solution hardly budged in pH. It went up to 4.80 pH units from the 4.74. Again, addition of the strong base in a buffered solution barely moved the pH, but if it was added straight to water, we'd expect a pH of 12.3, a significant difference.